and see what happens here. So I'm connecting a Samsung Note 9 currently, which is pretty full. We're still at 5 volts, boom, we hit 9 volts. We're still at 0.5, now we're at 1.6 amps at 9 volts. So this will drain out your battery hella quickly, very efficiently, and at the same time be very, very useful. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best discharging tool I've seen till this day. And I'm not over exaggerating this. This is by far one of the best things you could buy for seven bucks in our market or in our hobby or whatever you want to call it. This thing is absolutely insane. Now, let's get into this. Now, what it does is it basically just discharges your battery. The normal discharging stuff is pretty basic, just an LED and some resistors. But the extra functionality is where it really impresses me and will impress you as well. So let's talk a little bit about the discharge part first. As you can tell, you can discharge 1S with its own connector, which is really great, especially for people uh, who have problems discharging the 1S LiPos. This will be able to do that at a really great rate. The overall discharge rate is anywhere between 500 milliamps to one amp. So it's really great for 1S and 2S and maybe a little bit of 3S. But when you get higher, then the other functionality is where it really kicks in. We also have an XT30 here, and we also have an XT60, and you can choose between USB out and discharge, and here you have to set the uh, S value. So 1S, you put it on 1S, because it, there is no balance connector to actually calculate this, so you have to choose this, and I'll cover why in a little bit here. Now, let's get to the good part. Now, if we flip this thing over, what we see is it's actually stating that it has QC, and we're actually going to test it right now, and I'll show you with a meter as well. So it has 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2.5 amps, 12 volts, two amps, and here are the protocols it runs. Now, where this thing actually excels is, for example, you can use a LiPo to charge up a freaking laptop, a USB-C powered laptop, which is insane. You'll be able to discharge this in no time and not ruin it, and at the same time, not really waste the energy, not really waste the whole LiPo. So that in itself is a really, really great addition. It'll just stop as soon as this reaches your discharge voltage. Now you cannot set the discharge voltage. It is automatically set between 3.9 to four volts and that's a safety feature because it doesn't take the balance connector to calculate each cell so keep that in mind and this is also the reason why we are going to set the keys right now when i go ahead and show you how to do this now where it discharges it usually ends up having all of the cells between 3.92 to 3.94 so that's where it hits and it just disconnects it just turns off then you know uh, even the usb part won't work nothing will work that means that's it it's hit its limit this battery here has hit its limit i'm gonna go grab another battery or maybe it, the voltage probably came back a little so maybe we could test this out so uh first thing you want to do set it to discharge that's the best thing to do first plug it in and we can see the led boot up right there that means it's discharging so next we want to make sure we choose the correct cell number uh it's very important you do so it discharges correctly so you know if you set it to 6s it might under it might over discharge your battery so this is a 5s lipo right here and i have it set to 5 with this key now i'm going to go to usb out the led turned off and we have usb out working so my phone i'm plugging in takes uh, QC 3.0 as I believe. And I'm just gonna flip this over for you guys. So we see that it's giving out just five volts. However, my, my phone takes nine volts at two amps. So let's go ahead and connect this and see what happens here. So I'm connecting a Samsung Note 9 currently, which is pretty full. We're still at five volts, boom, we hit nine volts. We're still at 0.5, now we're at 1.6 amps at nine volts. So this will drain out your battery hella quickly, very efficiently, and at the same time, be very, very useful. And I freaking love that. Um, and it's only six bucks. I think it's on sale right now, six bucks. Normal price is, I think, seven or eight. So if you wanted one, go grab one. It is really useful. And I'm going to be picking up two more of these for my laptop and for my iPad and stuff uh, because this is really great. And I usually have some LiPos that have power in them because I never discharge. And this just makes discharging a whole lot better for me. And um, this is really great. I don't have anything right now in the shop that'll do the 12 volt, two amps. But if it just, you know, registers this quickly, it's insane. And it's kind of a shame that ISDT and all of these other, you know, toolkit RCs are not releasing anything with this QC protocols. 
Uh, if they have, those would be so useful, not even just to the FPV market, for, for, for other people as well. And uh, URUAV is doing a really great job with these little cheap uh, toolkits right here. And um, I'm, I'm really impressed. I got to tell you, I'm really impressed because this makes the discharging so much more attractive and so much more actually useful and so much more quicker. And um, I really like this. And um, well, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's nothing else I could currently say other than it's a really great toolkit and I've been using it now for the past couple days and it just works really great. Uh, the main function obviously that I'm using it for is the QC charging part and it's really small as well so uh, it's very portable and the build construction is actually really really great on this and I'll have it linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.